friends, welcome back! If you're new here, I'm Karina and I'm a mom of a little girl named Nicole. Currently she is 16 months old and has been a very active child. So I'm always in the research for the activities that would keep her busy and develop her skills at certain age. For the first time parents, it might be overwhelming what toys would be the best for their baby's development. I did lots of research and got for my baby different toys that would promote her gross motor and fine motor skills. So in this video I'm gonna show you what toys you should get for your one year old based on our own experience. But before we begin it would be highly appreciated if you subscribe and click the like button so more people would see my videos. So what toys are great at this age? The first toy that I highly recommend is a shape sorter. At the beginning it's a good idea to tape some holes and leave just a few open so it won't be too confusing for the baby. I wouldn't be expecting them to put a shape into the shape sorter until 12-14 months. I believe Nicole started to put shapes intentionally when she was around 13 months. Before that she would open or close the lid or drop some toys in there. Other toys that I love are stocking toys. Before 12 months they would just knock them over and that would be lots of fun for the baby. And eventually baby will be able to put one cup on top of the other building a tower. The other thing that is really good at this age is a ring stacker. Around 9 months they are pulling off the rings very easily and around 12-14 months they will start to put the rings on in any order. With the ring stacker it's also fun to learn colors, naming the color of that ring that baby is trying to put on. At this age also great some pop-up toys. It helps develop motor skills as well. At the beginning I would open everything up and Nicole would start to pull the lids down using the whole hand or index finger. And later she started to open and close everything independently. Another great toy that you can introduce around this age is a ball drop box. The whole idea is for the baby to put the ball into the hole, the ball disappears and then reappears as it rolls back into the tray. It's a great for hand-eye coordination skills. Nicole repeated that activity over and over again until she has mastered it. It's really engaging. Board books are great at this age as well. Especially touch and feel books so they can point with that finger. Then they will also work on their pincer grass by turning the pages. And it's a great way to communicate with your baby as well. Another good toy is a one-piece puzzle with a knob on it. It helps to work on the pincer grasp so the baby can pull the puzzle piece out. Don't expect the baby to put the puzzle piece back in at this age. We just want them to pull it out. Also, there is a great toy on the string. Especially when your baby is walking around, they will start to pull the toy on the string. Make sure that the string is relatively long, because if it's too short, it's really hard to pull the toy long. Another great toy that I would highly recommend around this age is a sit-to-stand learning walker. This one comes with the activity panel that can be removed from the walker for floor play while discovering colors, music, shapes and numbers. It's still one of Nicole's favorite toys. The only thing I found that it's lightweight and it might fall easily if baby is just starting to walk and rely on it to pull herself up. That's why we attached a plastic container with a rise for more stability. Another great activity to introduce is a treasure basket. You can put some specific categories of items, but not too many of them at once. When you go pick some from the basket, I name it. That's an apple. So that's a great way to learn objects. Later I would put some fruits in front of her and ask, can you show me an orange or pomegranate? And she would point on that. That is kind of verification for me that she is learning the objects. Another great thing that I would highly recommend are play paint and activity mat. I got this when Nicole has started pulling herself up on feet and cruising. I would put her in there mostly while I was cooking and I was confident that she was pretty safe in there. At the same time she was mastering her skills. Once she has made her first steps, I trained her to walk from one side to another. Even if she falls, it was pretty safe there. Also another good toy is a music activity table. I introduced it around 9 months and she loved it a lot. It's really engaging and fun for the baby.
So those are my activities for one-year-old babies. If you have any other activities that your one-year-old has enjoyed, please share with us in the comments below so the rest of us can learn about them. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!